have you talked to Bam? Is he doing? I okay? talked to him a couple he's, nights ago. Oh, how how is he? Can we? You know, you never can trust tr- press reports. Sure. They sensationalize everything. How is he right. doing? He he sounded super drunk, dude. Okay. He sounded super drunk, but he was in good spirits. Um, it's so fucking nuts, man. How like not just resistant to the idea of surrendering to recovery, but just how he literally just doesn't seem to grasp the disease concept. Mm. You know, it's like, it, it, it's like still with the, man, if I just stay busy, it's, it's when I'm not like busy doing stuff all the time. Like I get into trouble. If I can just stay busy and productive, it's like, no, that's not how it works. Dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not how you'd think you'd know that by now. It's like watching people make an excuse for a spouse that kicks the shit out of them. It's like, if I just, well, if right. I have dinner ready, he won't do it. Or if I do that, <laughs> people just want to excuse it because they don't want to let it go. You know? Right. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I love him. I, I, I love him. And, and uh, even, even if I didn't love him, I'm never going to give up on him because, that, you know, that's how it works. You know, like I'm always, I've been physically present at almost every stop on his years long tour of rehabs and psych courts. Yeah. You know, like it's, you know, it's often just panned out that I was, you know, near enough to just pop in. You know, like I remember I was in New York. He was in a psych ward in Pennsylvania. So I just went over popped and over. Pop, popped in. Yeah. And like every rehab, every every one of these times when I show up, because I'm careful never to try to push sobriety on anybody. I feel strongly that if you do that, what you're actually doing is pushing them away from sobriety. Yeah. So like... You know, I let him do his thing. I, I don't, I don't lecture him. I don't do anything. And then, and then I, when he's actually in some kind of uh, rehab facility or something, and that's so now, like, now it's appropriate for me to go because, well, since you're here, like, let's make the most of it. You know, like for what it's worth, like this, I think that this is good. Nobody shows up in rehab by mistake. Yeah. As a rule of thumb, nobody shows up in rehab by mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Let alone fucking like. A dozen times. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he knows you're sober, so you're like right. just an example of like, because he knows how fucked up you are. It, was, sure. it wasn't like you're, you, you, you know, you you were fucked up, and a lot of people didn't think you were gonna make it. And right. look at you now. Right. Right. It, it, it's nuts. And 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 what's even crazier is that I managed to be, like, the Switzerland of jackass. You know, like, cause Bam had this big lawsuit against you know all things jackass, and so clearly. There, you know, there, there's, there's issues. Yeah. There, but like the issues don't apply to me. And what's so confounding about it is that I've done absolutely nothing to try to sugarcoat anything I've ever said to Bam. Like I am the most like matter of fact, just blunt. Like, and and uh, our my relationship with him is great. When I spoke to him a couple nights ago, he goes, "Dude, you know, I just want to thank you, man. Like, because you've always been there for me." Like, yeah, I've always been there to tell you, like, how fucking awful the situation is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, 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 but I, you know, so I don't know. Like, it's just really scary, man, because th- this disease of alcoholism, like, you know, dude, like, it fucking kills people, man. Like, there's not, like, you go around the, the, the loop of the relapse cycle enough times, like, there's, there's very few things that that are left to happen you know like it's, it's gnarly yeah, yeah it sucks watching people you love go to you know people you they, it's just frustrating because you right. know you know what the answer is and they just you can't make them hear it for sure yeah. i've got yeah. this this thing that that i came up with a long time ago and i think i came up with it like to tell to ban because i remember him saying um he, he was this is years ago and he said uh man i just like I just feel like if, uh, you know, life without drinking would just be so boring. And, and I was like, you know, dude, like I said, uh, there's no question that, you know, like getting sober kind of shocks the system. I was like, it's, it's kind of like if you're going to get in a swimming pool. I said, you know, if you go up to the swimming pool and, and dip your toe in the water, like it feels really cold, you know, like you don't want to get in. If you go over to the like the shallow end and think you're gonna walk down the stairs like really gradually, like you're fooling yourself. You're never gonna do it. Like clearly, when it comes to getting in the swimming pool, you know everybody knows the only way to get in is to jump 
all the way in to the yeah. deep end. And when you land in that water, it it shocks your system. There's no way around it. But everybody can also relate to having jumped into the pool. It's just a moment later. You think, man, I can't believe this felt so cold. Like just a moment ago, now I've acclimated and I feel perfectly comfortable. Yeah. I'm like, that's what it's like if you jump all the way in to recovery. Like, yeah, it shocks your system. It's gonna. But if you just jump in, commit to it, like you get used to it and bam, my life's not boring. But where the where the pool analogy yeah. gets gets like really pretty good is that we also know that you can't go around shoving people into swimming pools and expecting right. them to stay in, let alone thank you for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>